receiving teachers, receiving students and six Cs. Thank you, you may be seated. Okay, before we go on to our lesson topic for today, let's recap what are the formulas that we have learned from our previous lesson. You were using two different formulas to work out areas of certain shapes. If you can still remember, who would like to give us one? When we are trying to calculate the area of a triangle, what is the formula that we are going to use? Receiving students, what is the formula for calculating the area of a triangle? Okay, let's have Helen. Multiplication. Multiplication, that is the operation. What I am looking for is the formula that you are going to use to work out the area of a triangle. Thank you, Helen. Good try. Let's have Victoria. Length times width. Length times width. Six is a receiving students. Victoria said the formula for calculating the area of a triangle is length times width. Is it correct? I can see students with their hands up, meaning the formula is not correct. Thank you, Victoria. Let's have uh, Emmanuel to help Victoria. Formula for calculating the area of a triangle. Area equals half times base times height. Okay, very good. The formula that I was looking for was half base times height, or area is equals to half base times height. That is the formula for calculating the area of a triangle. Victoria already gave us the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle, which is area is equals to length times width. So those were the two formulas that we were using in our previous lesson. So six is and receiving students, please do not forget when it comes to calculating the area of these particular shapes, you should know now what the formulas that you will be using. Okay, I'd like us to go through the answers or the working out to the two exercises that you were asked to work out in your previous lesson. In your previous lesson, you were asked to work out the area of these triangles. Let's have Lorraine to come up and show her working out to 1A, and Onea to come up and do B. Quickly. You others check your work to see that you have the same working out like what they have. Thank you, Lorraine. Can you go through what you have written on the whiteboard just to get a clear picture to our friends how you have 
come up with those numbers. Thank you, Lorraine. Um, the formula we used was area, area equals half times base times height um, equals half times five centimeter times ten centimeter equals half times fifty over one. My answer was fifty over two equals twenty five cubic centimeter. Come again. My answer was twenty five cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter class. 25 square centimeters. Okay, very good. We are talking about area, so it is supposed to be 25 square centimeter. Thank you very much, Lorraine. If you have the same working out and the same answer like what Lorraine have for us on the whiteboard, well done. Let's go on to exercise 1B. On air, thank you. Area is equals to half times base times height equals to half times 12 centimeter times 7 centimeter equals to 1 times 84 2 times 2 times 2 equals to 42 square centimeter. Okay, thank you very much, Onea. Let's have a look at this, working out very carefully. Onea, how did you got these two here? Divide by 84. Divide by 84. Let's help on air just correct through is working out here. We have the formula as half times base times height. Half times 12 centimeter times 7. He has written it out again here. 1 over 2. 12 times 7 would give us 84 over 2 or 1? 84 over 2 or 1? On air? Okay, you just compare your answer with Lorraine here. 84 would give us a whole number. So when we talk about a whole number, it must be written as a fraction over 1. Thank you, On air. He has corrected himself. It was supposed to be over. Okay, I will just erase these two. 84 was supposed to be over 1. So when you multiply 1 times 84, it gives you 84. Over 2 times 1 is 2. Simplify that. You should come up with the final answer as 42 square centimeter. So these are the correct answers to the two exercises that you were supposed to work out in your previous lesson. We will now move on to our lesson topic for today. Okay, our lesson topic for today is on area of compound shapes. I will go back again. You have already learned the two formulas, different formulas. Today we will be still using one of the formulas to work out the area of compound shapes. So receiving students, don't think that we are going far from the previous lessons that we have gone through. We will be still using one of the formulas to work out the area of the compound shapes. And the area that we'll be applying in the compound shapes for the lesson that we will be using today would be area is equals to length times width. Class, looking up on the screen now, let's try to see what is meant by a compound shape. A compound shape is made up of two or more parts separately and can be combined together. That is what it, it meant by a compound shape. It can be made up of two or more parts, or it can be referring to the different shapes that you are going to join them together, but they will have their own measurements. Let's now have a look at this learning activity, and that can help us with the definition that we have gone through. It says, find the area of this compound shape. 
class, we should be now looking at the screen to see how the shape looks like. A compound shape is what is shown on the screen now. This can be one example of a compound shape. You have this shape here, or area A. And you have another shape here, C, B and C. These three sh shapes can be joined together. So you lo look at area A. It has got its own measurement. Area B has its own measurement, and area C has its own measurement also. Look at area A. You look at this area here, it is the shape of a rectangle. And that is why we are going to be using the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle, which is length times width. Okay, we have the length given here as four centimeter. And the width is three centimeter. So we have four centimeter and we have three centimeter. That is the measurement for area A. Area B, look at it very carefully. You can see that there is a dotted line again from the center here or the line inside. From this point to this point is two centimeter. Two centimeter from six centimeter would be, if six centimeter, the total distance, subtract two centimeter. What would be the distance from this end to this end? Six and receiving students, what would be the distance? Okay, very good, four centimeters. So let's try to look at the shape and try to figure out what are the measurements that I will apply. So this is one way that you can work out the measurement of a compound shape. Some measurements will be given, some will be left out. Or will not be written on the shape. So for instance here, we have the total distance given, and we know that part of area C is given, which is two. But we want to know what would be the length of area B. So you have given the answer as four centimeters. So four centimeter is the length, and we know the width is three centimeter. That is for area B. How about C? We have the measurements that are given there. Two centimeter and also five centimeter. That is for area B. So when we are talking about compound shapes, it will be divided in parts. So all you have to do is step number one, class. When we are talking about compound shapes, you work out the area of A, B, and C separately. You don't combine them together because when you are going to combine them together, you will not come up with the answer that we are expecting. So when you work out the area, we will go through that later. Step number one of each of these letters. Step number two, you add the areas of A, B, and C to get the area of the compound shape. We have gone through the shape and the measurement. Let's now have a look at the working out. Area A is equal to length times width. And we have four times three is equal to 12 square centimeter. That is for area A. Area B is equal to length times width, and we have four times three is equal to 12 square centimeter. Area C is equal to length times width. Five times two is equal to 10 square centimeter. Step number two, we will now add all those areas together from the three Area of compound shape equals area A plus area B plus area C. I'd like you to add those three 
areas to get the total area of the compound shape. Who has finished? I will repeat again that three measurements of those three areas are 12 square centimeter area A, area B, 12 square centimeter, and C, 10 square centimeter. What would be the total area of the compound shape when you add all those three shapes together? So that is the answer of the compound shape that you were asked to work out. Okay, you have an activity that I'd like you to work out using the steps and method that we just went through together. You are to calculate the area of the following shape. Having in mind you work out the area separately first, and then you add them together to find the total area of the compound shape. So area A and area B. If you are confused on how to work that out, please do not hesitate to ask. Working out the area of A. If you have finished and you would like me to check, you can always put your hand up. should have copied this diagram into your book with the measurement in because you still have one more exercise to do and if you don't complete this exercise you will do that for homework. Okay, six is you have another exercise so as the receiving students you have also exercise B that is now on the screen. 
you can quickly copy that shape and the measurements that are shown on the compound shape. Class, raise your hand up if you have finished exercise 1A. Okay, if you don't complete this, exercise B, 1B, I'd like you to complete it for homework, but at least you should complete exercise 1A. So I will give you a little bit of time again to complete exercise 1A. 1B you will copy that for homework, but at least you complete 1A so that we can go through that together. At least you complete 1A so that we can go through that together. For 1B, you will do that for homework. So receiving students, your teacher will collect your books to check your exercise 1B. Okay, class, we have finished exercise 1A. Raise your hand up if you have finished exercise 1A. Which exercise are you working on? Which exercise are you working on? B and well, let me see exercise A. Put an area, you see, oh. area of compound shape is equals to A plus B plus C plus there are three areas now. For this case, there's only two. So area A plus area B is equals to 8 centimeter plus 6 centimeter. So this is correct. So you can then show you're working out on the right there. Are you able to do that? Okay, good boy. Okay, walking around, few students have finished exercise 1A, so I'd like a 
a volunteer to come up and saw his or her working out on the whiteboard and you others who are still working on your exercise, I'd like you to concentrate and see where you got yourself stuck. What was the step that you are still confused on applying into that formula? So let's have Uvao to come up and so he's working out on the whiteboard. And let's follow through to see he's working out. Thank you, Uvao. Okay, thank you very much, Uvao. Let's all now look at the whiteboard and see how Uvao has worked out the area of the compound shape for exercise 1A. So you open to where you have done your exercise and let's check through to see that you have the same working out with what Uvao has. Let's look at the whiteboard and also the diagram that you have drawn in your exercise book. Area A, this is what he has come up with. He worked out the area of the first part of the shape and it's known as area A. It's equals to length times width. And the measurement he had in place for area A are two times four, two as the length times four, the width. And his answer for area A is eight square centimeter. Very good. Let's move on to area B. Is equals to length times width. From the diagram, you will see that the total distance is five centimeter. But area B, when you look at it very carefully, you will see that you have two, two on this side, and three on this side. You might be looking around for the measurement for area B. From this point to this point, the measurement is given at the top here. So if you haven't located the length of area B, it is up here. So when you add three plus two, will give you the total length as five centimeter. So it's broken out or distributed from this 
two lengths here. We have two and we have three. So don't confuse yourself with these five. Are we following? So that is where Ubao has got his measurement. So you have three times two. I know some have used five in their working out. So correction here, it is three times two, which is six square centimeter. After you have worked out the area separately, step number two, you are to add all those areas together. So area A, he has eight centimeter, uh, sorry, area A is eight centimeter, and area B, six centimeter square equals area A plus area B. And he's shown it very clearly here, eight square centimeter plus six square centimeter is equals to the total area of the compound shape is plus 14 square centimeter. Put your hand up if you have the same answer and the working out like what Uva had. Okay, well done. I'd like you to also apply the same working out to exercise 1B that I ask you to complete for homework. But before we do that, I'd like you to give five big claps to Ubao and those students who also got the answer correct together. <laughs> so always learn to follow the simple step. If you're confused, do not hesitate to ask. Receiving students, if you're still confused on how to work out the area of a compound shape, please do ask help from your teacher or your friends that have completed the exercises. So I will remind you again for exercise B, you complete that for homework and receiving teacher, please do check your students' exercises to see that they have mastered the method on how to work out the area of a compound shape. We will now go on to what we have for our summary, and I'd like us to read that together from the PowerPoint. Six is and receiving students, our summary point for today, please do read that together on the screen. Together, six is and receiving students, a compound. Okay, a com compound shape is made up of two or more parts separate and combined together. So you can have different shapes, but you can al always combine te them together and then the final name becomes a, or you have formed a compound shape. So don't forget, when you are trying to work out the area of a compound shape, it must be worked out separately first according to the number of parts that you have put together. And the last step, you are to add those different areas together to get the total area of the compound shape. Our key phrase for today's lesson is compound shapes. To the receiving teacher, our next lesson topic is on simple solids. With that, six system receiving students, we have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for your participation. <laughs>